in today's video we are making embellishments and embellishing pages for our pink antique junk journal using the new pink antique ephemera and pink harmony and succulents and roses digital kits stay tuned hi everybody it's julie and happy Monday. We are going to be working with the pink antique ephemera digital kit and the pink harmony digital kit as well as succulents and roses. I did pull out some avocado dyed papers. Um, this is what the Patreons received. Uh, the Emerald Patreons received last month. If you want to be an Emerald Patreon and receive a fun ephemera kit each month, um, the information video will be in the description box down below. And so here we go. Um, there's several other tiers also. Okay. So I want to, I've got these two paid, these two that will make great embellishments. We'll put those on the back there. And we have some tags and other things that we can use as well. And so I think start off, we'll just go ahead and fold this page. This was from a mouse pad that I have right there. And I think it just needs a little something. And we happen to have from the um, Pink Harmony kit. It's music with pink, e pink ephemera. And remember these kits are on sale through Tuesday. And um, for 50% off. So that's that's awesome. Okay, so we're just going to add this up at the top like it's a stamp. It will um, decorate this and I like the contrast of the white with the avocado dyed paper. There we go. Okay, so that gives us that. Then we can open this up and I'm thinking we can add like a pocket on the inside here. And so, so this is the pink antique ephemera digital kit right here okay and remember we made items using this kit um, the other day I think that this right here will be great on that page so we're gonna go ahead cut this out so how is everybody doing? Getting, if you are getting ready for the holiday. We have, I believe all of our um, events are done. So over the weekend we participated in a Cavalcade of Lights, which is a light parade that's put on by the bus drivers from our area and from one of the school districts. We actually have two different school districts where we where we live. Maybe even three because the high school I think is even from a different um, anyway um, we decorated our truck and we did it with our volunteer organization CERT Community Emergency Response Team and so it's lots of fun 
and then we go follow they decorate a bus and usually there's people and kids on the bus but you know this year's different um, there was a bus driver and so they decorated the bus and then we follow the bus and we had over 50 cars and it goes it does the bus route throughout the town so and there was people everywhere waiting for us to come and it was just so special and amazing and this year we also we have a a motorhome that was donated to the organization and it's a 70s vintage uh, motorhome and for it decided that it didn't want to um, charge <laughs> so over the ham radio I got it Julie I'm a you know Tom was like four cars behind me in the parade he goes um, he he his car, his motorhome had died, so I went around and came back to where he was. He happened to break down right in front of his, one of his best friend's house. <laughs> so that was, that was good. Um, and, I mean, not good, but it was convenient. And so I went around and gave him a jump. It was kind of funny because when I went around the block... And I I ended up catching up to the end of the of the, <laughs> the cavalcade, and as I was going to catch up, people were going, "Oh look, she's catching up! She's trying to catch up!" And I'm like, "No, I've already been here." <laughs> oh my goodness! But anyway, it was it was fun. So we did do that, and and then we ended up we. Um, because of it breaking down, we ended up going going home, and then he took our friend home that uh, had been with him in the in the motorhome. See, they had a loudspeaker playing music and Christmas music, and it was really cool. But anyway, um, so he and he took our friend home. And all of a sudden, I could hear them in our neighborhood because there was a um, fire vehicle, uh, not a fire engine, because of course you know they're using all those. But this, they had it. We had a another fire vehicle in our um, in the cavalcade of lights, and so I could hear it. And the big there was a the front of a big truck. And you could hear their horns going through the neighborhood. And I was like, oh my gosh, they haven't been to our neighborhood yet. So I walked up to where the bus stop is at the end of our neighborhood. And just as I got to the corner, Tom was coming down. I said, oh my gosh, look, Tom, they're coming. They're coming. We can actually watch it. And so, um, so we got to actually see the cavalcade of lights we've never got to see it we've always been in it so he may have seen it some time before but since um, since we've been married I've never actually gotten to see it so that was really special if you're here at the premiere I'm waving hi and say hello to Wiley hi Wiley I'm so glad you've joined us today. If this is your first Dear Julie Julie premiere, just know that this is a pre-recorded video, but we use the premiere format so that we can have a live chat. You can join us in that live chat by hitting that live chat button right down there. Come on over, say hello, introduce yourself. We'd love to get to know you. We also have our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. It's a lot of fun over there, and it includes a free digital kit in the file section. So let's get back to our program. Oh yeah, don't forget, Pink Antique Ephemera, Pink Harmony Music Digital Kit, and several other digital kits are on sale through Tuesday in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. The link is in the description box down below. Let's get back to our program.
And then last night we were invited to a concert, a harp concert on Zoom that our very good friend had done or did. And that was absolutely beautiful and such a blessing. And it was so good to see so many friends. She had over 50 um over, she's awesome, you guys. The, Adrian is awesome. She had over 50 people on the, or 50, you know, there were way more than 50 because most of the chant, most of the places had more than one person. And, um, and she gave us a beautiful concert on the harp. And that was just really, really special. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. This is um, avocado dyed embossed okay so it's water embossed it's actually a charger plate that i have that i do this all the time i love the way this turns out and i am going to go ahead and do some creative folding here so i need it to be smaller than this okay and then i'm gonna make it have a good size flip okay so we have the textured edge from the embossing and it can go in any direction okay and then we have a lightly colored doily from the avocado dyed papers. I think that'll be fun to add in here. So also um, Saturday was Tom's birthday. So we had um, at the Cavalcade of Lights they gave him our cert team gave Tom a plaque for his years of service and he has done this for several years I've known him for 13 and he had done it for a few years before he met me so okay so I have a map maps are fun to add give you a variety of, of papers so that gives us a flip and whatever direction this one goes in that'll go in the other direction so let's go ahead and so we've got a few more papers that we've added and we already did a little ledger for this oh we have this 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 is a little card here so we can decorate that too possibly one two one two three and then we'll have some some holy coffee dyed paper and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to do the flip up and give it us give us a pocket with that okay just don't want to waste any paper okay so we'll flip it up turn it into a pocket flip it over Okay, and let's go ahead, and there is a ledger paper, and I like to do with the ledger paper is cut it just below, well, we'll, we'll measure it and cut it at the eight and a half, okay, and that's usually right around 31. So we'll go with eight and a half. Okay, so now we have this little paper and we have this big paper. And 
So if you're making a list journal, this, this is going to be, be perfect. Okay, and then let's see. Where's that? this one. This one was on some type of grill. So and it just kind of has wavy wavy lines in it. I really need to clean this out. <laughs> Some of the papers, they, um, the little pieces get stuck in the, the track, and then all of a sudden you can't cut. So you just got to clean out the track every once in a while. Oh, look what I found in my... Sorry about that. Okay. So these two pages can go together. And turn into something. Okay, so we have one. Well, we might as well use all the papers here, right? one's pretty it's lighter um, what I did this time with the avocados is I boiled them boiled them down pulled the water out put new water in boiled that and I was able to do four batches the the paper did get a little lighter as I went along um, and I dried everything I air dried it I didn't dry it in the oven. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to count that as just one. Seven, eight, nine, and then from the other day, we have the avocado this this one I think that's 10 and the ledger and there's our paper clip 10 and our other ledger 11 right one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> nine ten 11, 12. Okay. So I will want to add some lined paper to this as well because it is a list journal. I don't have any avocado dyed lined paper, so I'll just be adding regular lined paper. But um, you get an idea here. So let's go ahead and continue to decorate pages. And then we have ephemera that we can do as well. Okay, so this one got that decoration. I think that's pretty good. And so I'll put it up here. Okay, so let's go on to we have this beautiful card. And that one I think would be pretty. Now this and the, the harmony, you can go ahead and tear your pages. Um your pieces and just have the small pieces or it can go on as a full page um, so there's choices there with those which I think is awesome I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on here I think that will be really pretty 
and um, so we'll go ahead and add this I'm loving these kits I think they're gonna be a lot of fun for Valentine's Day I mean, because you can do this and put a Valentine's sentiment on it and in it. And maybe add a small doily across there. I don't have one here. I do have the little heart that I've been using. Then on the inside, this is from the Succulents and Roses, and I think we'll do a little Build-A-Pocket here. We've got a succulent and a rose piece, okay? Okay, so if we cut this down. So Succulents, Succulents and Roses is a 40-piece digital kit. It's got um, pages, ephemera, and it's all Succulents and Roses. And the pictures with the Succulents and Roses together, they are wedding bouquet that I made for my niece. Wedding bouquets. And the succulents some of them are from my mom's my mom's yard so building a pocket we've added glue to this edge and now we're going to add glue to the bottom actually we'll do the all three sides here so we're going to add glue here and across here and up here okay and what that does is it fills in this pocket so I love pockets and I cannot lie. Okay, so we filled in the pocket there. Giving us a place to put something. Right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and tear off this piece and put it across we'll put it here because that will oh I like that okay and so that will decorate this and make it match the rest of it so there are 11 digital kits on sale in the Etsy shop that all go with succulents and roses because succulents and roses was the um, launch this time and that was the kit that those that finished their journals in um, November, they got the Succulents and Roses kit as their gift for finishing, for participating in finishing their challenge. So there we go, we have that, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this little one in here, okay? And so it gives me a place to write there, and we're decorated, okay? I think on this side, we'll go ahead and we're gonna use this piece of succulents and roses. We're going to cut it. So this would be part of the mini ephemera for that digital kit. And if we go ahead and cut it right here, okay, and we'll have a belly band. And then we can go ahead and add something beautiful. Okay. There we go. There's our 
There's our belly band. And what do we have? We have this little thing with roses. We have a piece of lace. I like that. And these will be in opposite sides of, of the journal. So we can go ahead and use the other leaf, leaf, the other feather on music here. This is from the wallet page of Pink Harmony. Okay, put that. We can put this down, and this uh, Mono Tombow liquid glue, it will hold down the, the um, lace. It just takes a while to dry. It takes longer to dry than the, the fabric tag. Okay, so there's that. There's that. So the other thing Tom and I did is we made a quick trip to town to Kohl's. We went to one store, the one that we thought would be the least um, crowded, and we did good there. There were lines at all the other stores, and um, we went shopping for each other because Tom works. I mean, he's working and working and working, and so we went went in and we ended up, we were going to go separate and shop and we ended up staying together and we shopped for <laughs> our Christmas gifts together. And, um, we actually had a really good time, really, really good time. So I have this, um, this is a David Tutera from Dollar General. He, they had his, some of his wedding line at um, Dollar General last year and I picked these up and so let's see darn I thought I would be able to go and put this in like like that I can but I do I have enough to It's pretty, that's pretty sturdy. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and put this in as a tuck. It's really pretty. It's avocado dyed. It is part of what I put together for the... Okay, so if that goes like that, I need this to go across here. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting an idea of how I can put this on here. Okay, so I've come across and given myself, I'm going to close it down there. Okay, so we'll line it up on this side and then put it in. So I look at everything that's, especially things that look lacy as something that I could possibly put in a journal. Um, I saw at Kohl's yesterday, they had a party section. It, in that Kohl's, it was over by the children's, and there was some um, white lace banners. And um, I was like, oh, that would be something that would be cool, but that's not what I was, that was not what I was supposed to be shopping for. So, um, I didn't, didn't pick that up, but that's, you know, I, that's how I find things. I find things in other places besides the craft store. Okay. So I do have some of these tags and I'm just going to go ahead and cut the top off. And we'll decorate this. Let's see. OK, 
Okay, so we have the the one with the little with the, the people on it. And it might be time to pull out some more pieces, huh? Might be. Okay, I'm thinking for the top of the tag, we can go ahead and use this. And maybe it might be time to use some of this doily. Okay, so I want to make sure that I add to the edge of this doily. And I think this is the last one. This was given to me by Joyce a long time ago. She gave me several, a few different colors. I'm pretty sure that's where this came from. So we're not we're not sticking up here very good. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's that. Now we can either put this on there or Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that very much. So, um, put that in there. And now you can go ahead and distress around the edge of the things. I don't. Okay. Um, I'm not a distressor and I like the look of things that are old with things that are new and I think for me that's one of the things that makes junk journaling so much fun is that I can combine what I have and um, you know because I've collected stuff yes collected there we go so that that will go in there nicely and we do still have this area across here. Ah, oh, that's what's what underneath there. So, but anyway, let's, oh, and we have this. So from the, the Pink Harmony, we have the postcard page. And thinking okay so this is the postcard page or you could cut it and use it as a page in the journal and if I I'll we'll come back to that we're gonna go ahead and use One of the feathers. One of the feathers on some music. Okay, so you get full sheet pages of this. You get side-by-side um, -side pages of a couple of them. And then you get the postcard and the wallet of the Pink Harmony. So I think it's going to be great for, just like we're doing here, to make ephemera. Okay. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so it's a little long. i got to do something. This cord is catching on things. So it's moving the, okay, I'm going to put the, the glue on here, 
because it looks like we're going to be able to go over the edge a little of this center piece. Okay, we'll put that there. So pretty. Okay, and then I have these these hearts that we've been using. Okay, and then we also have been using the Georgia eyelash trim. And I'm just going to add a little bit up here. I don't want to take away from the I want I still want the strings. Okay. There. So we get some of that pretty gold in there. And we could also make a tag for there. Okay, but this this is our tag for here, okay? And then I think we will go back and find another tag. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this one. It has the, the polka dots from the holy paper on it. Okay. We'll add some Georgia eyelash trim to this as well. And I'm just twisting it. Okay. Okay, so there's that little ensemble ready. For the journal, we've got some decorations going on there. I think that's really pretty. Oh yeah, don't forget we've got these that we can use too. Um, okay, so we have these coloring pages. And I think it might be a good place for the beautiful um, postcards. Okay, so here's this one. So we will be doing the, the last thing it, for the challenge, for the December challenge that I need to do is the stamping in 12 places. So um, you have to use six different stamps and stamp in 12 places in your journal. I think that's kind of self-explanatory, so I am I hope you're all okay with me coming and, um, you know, doing, doing something different here by switching to the pink. Okay. This could go in here as a pocket. What else do we have?
talking. But I got quiet because I'm looking. I'm thinking. So this is one of the succulent and roses. We've got roses, we have succulents, and we have succulents and roses. This is one of the wedding bouquets. So this could become a pocket. Because I love pockets and I cannot lie. Of course, do I need a pocket on this page? You know what? I, I'm not going to add a pocket. I think that that can just be a pretty page. We'll add a pocket on the inside here. Very simple pocket. Just part of the mini ephemera page from Succulents and Roses. Put that in. Put it down. a big one and then aha uh -huh. yeah let's add this little one okay and you could take those two and add them somewhere and make them a mini pocket like that would hold a ticket or something I'm going to go ahead and just use this across the bottom. We've kind of been doing that, just kind of putting music on pages. Okay, so put that across like that. And then This again is from the postcard part of the Pink Harmony. Just go ahead and we can add that to the edge. And you can of course add washi tape to these um, as well. Matter of fact, oh well. Okay, so just adding a piece like this gives you some color. Um, so you can actually, if this was your journal, you could go ahead and color in this journal there. Okay, so I'm thinking this little goodie that we put together could go in here it just needs a little cover and so what we can do is switch this out put the pink on the front and add we have our little shell with the flowers Put that on there. Okay. That's one of our ephemera pieces in, from Pink Ephemera, and I um, fussy cut it. Then we can add just one of the pieces of the music where we've used the feather somewhere and we had the music left over. Just want to get it on there in the right orientation. <laughs> okay. And then again, one of the hearts. And I'm putting the heart up high so that it's not, doesn't get stuck in the pocket. And then 
you can either sew this up here or staple it. I'm going to staple it. Um, you could also glue them together. But there we've made just a little notepad and it will fit right here in this pocket. And it's so pretty. Okay. And then we have this page here. We do have this beautiful rose. Also ephemera from Pink, Af Pink Antique Ephemera. That is a five page digital kit. And, um, so, and there's no zip file. I know several of you have just don't seem to, don't think you can um, use a zip file. So this this one you would be able to use because there's no zip file. So this one, Roses Roses, um, also is a five. five files because um, Etsy lets you upload five files so to get like 40 files then that means I need to, to compress them into a zip file for you to get 40 okay so there we have that set of pages I love it and then let's move on to these are pocket it's gonna be a pocket page okay Go ahead and glue the pocket. So, who is new to junk journaling? Who is new? I love this because I can use so, so many of the things that I've collected over the years. Um, I can use so many things. Okay. So we have, we have them. What else do we have? I don't want to, this, this should be a writing page. So we should, I should just add something small. So maybe from the ephemera. Page, we can add. That's bigger than what I wanted to add. Got this little tiny music with the butterfly and one of the shell pieces. That'll be that'll be good. We'll add that up here to the top. That won't take up a lot of writing space. Okay, we'll turn to this page and we've got this decoration and we have this seeing it fit in there we're gonna have to do something with him um, yeah, okay. We're going to put him here. We're going to go ahead and fold over his... He's too big to go in the pockets in here. So we're going to turn him into a page. Okay. Let's 
So he'll become a little flip right here. And you could do this with um, washi tape, but we're going to do it with glue. We're just going to go ahead and put glue on this little edge. Grab it, put it down. Okay, so it gets decorated and you have a little flip. Okay. There we go. Added a little flip there. And <clears throat> let's go back to our items that we have over here. We have a guest check. We have, these are the items that we have here. I'm thinking we can add them onto the front of this, and then we still have that you can write on. So this is a very simple set of collage ideas. is rounded. I'm going to go ahead and round these top corners. Okay. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and add this lace doily. come across the bottom as well. <laughs> Sorry about that. Got to get the glue up off the table or we'll end up with glue on everything. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Flip this over. And that will give us a little bit of decoration on that side as well. And a clean edge on the top up here. I'm going to cut this. Okay. So there's that. Then... I think we need a little bit of music on this side. So we're going to add the little bit of music on this side. That'll finish off the edge of that doily. Okay. So there is the top. And then I think we'll go ahead and grab... Oh, look, it's even already cut. Grab this piece, add that to the top. Okay, and then thinking of other things that we've been using, we can add a heart. There we go. Okay, so that will give us a tag. I was like, where's the one we were working on? <laughs> and that can fit right in there. Yay, look at that. Oh, I love that. Okay, 
Um, I am gonna, no, uh, yeah, I am. I'm gonna cut down this edge over here because it will just end up folding up. Okay, so that's our other side. We have that. Then um, we have a guest check. Okay, so I think guest check would be really pretty on this in there behind that. I like to take these off my guest checks because eventually they'll fall off anyway. So I'm going to put that in behind there. And eh, no, I think it's going to come over here. And okay, but I wanted to do something down here. going to go ahead and put this down there. I am going to put my glue just on the, the three edges. That way it can be a pocket for something small. Let's pull this down. So we can put something small in this little pocket down here. Okay, so something like that could go in there. We could... Yeah, we're going to build a pocket here. Okay, so I'm just going to rip this across. And to build a pocket... to stick that in there and just put my glue right here because I don't want to lose the, the words off of okay so it's kind of more of a build a tuck because we're only gonna okay and um, yeah I like that so what can go in there is well what if we took our tag we haven't used this in a long time it's been it's been missing there we go okay so like that it could go either way have a little tag in there Go ahead and add a, a hole. So I just use my crocodile and some. There it is. Some Georgia eyelash trim because we've been using that. put it right through that little hole so pull it through and then pull it back and you should be able to get your eyelash on both sides okay and then there we go so we've got some pretty gold going on on that page now on this little pocket page So there's that, there's that, and maybe add some little something up at the top. We do have a butterfly. Oh, you know what we have that we didn't use in the last one? We have that awesome stamp that came on my Happy Mail from Jessica. 
at I'm a Cool Mom. So let's go ahead and we're going to add that on here. Okay, and it doesn't even need a cancellation, it's already got one on it. I love to use postage stamps in my in my journals and this one's just perfect for this because it has that succulent with the orchid right colors right there we go okay so I think that we just need something for this one here and so what do we have cut out we have this from a faithful friend and I think we cut some big music rip I like to rip okay so that with maybe that because you're only going to see the top um, we haven't used any of our avocado dyed lace today. Oh, jeez. This is ridiculous. Sorry about that. I don't know why all of a sudden I've never had this trouble and lately I'm having trouble with that cord. And I don't, I don't have time to re-film something today. Sorry. Okay. Just happen to have a piece of the fabric. We can add that up there, but I think I want to round the corners. I'm afraid to move around here because of the cord now. Okay, round the corners, then we're going to fold this, and we'll add that to the top as a little tag topper thingy there. Okay, and that can go in this pocket. heart to it and are we going to be able to put that in a pocket Okay, so there we have that little ensemble. We have this one. 
Okay, and we have this little page. So what I'm doing is I'm decorating some of the pages that are going in here. Then we'll add the lined pages. They'll get stamping, stenciling, and... Um, oh, here's the other one. Okay, Stamping, stenciling, and... There, that'll work. Perfect. Stamping, stenciling, and washi added to them, and I think that will be a good enough um, amount of decoration for it. So, so we're going to add these pages that we decorated today to the pages that we decorated on our last uh, video that we made using these kits. So I will put the link to this video will show up up here at the end. And so you can see we have several different things going on here. And um, using the pink antique ephemera digital kit, the pink harmony digital kit. And now I have added in the... Um, pink avocado dyed papers that I um, gave the Patreons and uh, the Emerald Patreons and I've added a couple of Emerald Patreon spots and so for your December uh, for the new add-ons to the Emerald you're going to get the avocado dyed ephemera kit as your ephemera kit for December so um, there you go so anyone new that adds to the emerald patreon this month will receive the the um the avocado dyed ephemera kit okay so that's what we've got to start with we're going to add those lined pages maybe a couple more of these pages and we'll do that in the next video so again, I'll add the video, um, yesterday's video, right up there. YouTube's going to add something that they think you might want to see. And I will put the December Junk Journal Challenge playlist up there as well. So find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.